Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a very rational equation for positive integers. Again, uh, I know the thumbnail didn't specify that, but the title did, and hopefully uh, you had an idea. So, we have a plus 1 over b plus 1 over c plus 1 over d, kind of like a ladder, equals 13 over 5. And we're going to be solving this equation for positive integers, which means a, b, c, d are all positive integers. Okay, first method. Even though I'm not going to completely solve it with the first method, but I just want to show you an approach. I wouldn't maybe necessarily call it a method, but kind of like an approach to the problem. First method involves making a common denominator. The reason why I show you that is because sometimes you do things that you shouldn't be doing and they are very painful. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a common denominator. So start off with a plus 1 over b plus 1 over c plus 1 over d and start at the bottom, make a common denominator and turn this into a plus 1 over b plus. And if you do a common denominator and flip it, you're going to get this, uh, this expression, a plus 1 over b plus d over c d plus 1. And then if you make a common denominator here again and simplify it by, you know, flipping, you get a plus c d plus 1 over b c d plus b plus d. Because what you're supposed to do is b c d plus b plus d over c d plus 1, but then 1 over is just going to give you the reciprocal. That's why I have to flip it. Do it one more time. Do it one more time, and you're going to get the following. A, B, C, D plus A, B. Oh, by the way, uh, we have A plus this, so I make a common denominator. There's no more flipping, right? We're just going to make a common denominator here. So that, this part is easy. A, D plus C, D plus 1 all over B, C, D plus B plus D. Okay, I was able to make a common denominator completely, and this is equal to 13 over 5. So A, B, C, D are positive integers. I have a single equation. You can kind of think about it as F two equations, maybe like set this equal to 13, set this equal to 5, but there's also the possibility that they're just multiples of 13 and 5, not necessarily 13 and 5 themselves, right? And good luck solving this equation. I'm not going to solve it. Uh, there is probably a way to solve it. Maybe this one is a little easier than that, but anyways, as you can see here, this is very painful. So our second method will be completely solved, by the way, is going to involve the following. Let me rewrite the original problem, a plus 1 over b plus 1 over c plus 1 over d. It stops at d, or it can go on forever sometimes, right? Okay, so to solve this problem, we're actually not going to mess with the left-hand side because that's already very messy, and we're going to mess with the right-hand side. So let's go ahead and take 13 over 5. And kind of break it down. So I want to write it as something plus 1 over something, at least, right? I mean, I can hopefully like, hey, maybe I can do it like x plus 1 over y. Can I do that? And then kind of manipulate y, but x is a, so on and so forth. So here's what I'm going to do. 13 over 5 can be broken down into an integer, like mixed numbers, I think they're what, what they're called, right? This is equal to 2 plus 3 over 5, isn't it? Because it's 10 plus 3 is 13, right? And then here's the trick. We have a 1 in the numerator, so we're going to use the reciprocal of 3 fifths, which is 5 thirds. So we're going to write it like this. 3 fifths is the same as 1 over 5 thirds, right? And then we're going to take 5 thirds and break it down. We're just going to keep doing it until we get what we want. So 2 plus 1 over 5 thirds can be written as 2 plus 1 over. Now 5 thirds is 1 plus 2 thirds, right? And then we're going to write this as, I don't think I'm going to write it there. We're going to write this as 2 plus 1 over 1 plus 1 over 3 halves. So I'm going to manipulate the 2 thirds this time and write it as 1 over 3 halves. The point of doing that is I want my expression to look like this, right? With that many fraction bars, I have 1, 2, and 3 fraction bars. And I have one and two here, so I do need one more. So let's go ahead and manipulate this a little bit more. But guess what? Three halves can be written as one plus one half, and I got one, two, three fraction bars, and I got the something plus one over something, one plus one over something, so on and so forth. So I got the same structure. Great. So let's go ahead and write our original 
equation, the left hand side gave us a plus 1 over b plus 1 over c plus 1 over d. So remember a, b, c, d are all positive integers. So if you try to write it differently, it's not going to work. You can test it out. So take a look at these. They're the same kind, right? Look at the structure, the format. So I can compare them easily because this is only going to happen um, if a is equal to 2, b is equal to 1, c is equal to 1, and d is equal to 2, right? So I got my values, a, b, c, d, a, b, c, d, okay. The answer is, if you're going this way, right? 2, 1, 1, 2. Now the problem didn't ask for anything, it was just giving you an equation, but the question could be something like, okay, what is A plus B plus C plus D? You know, you can find it. Once you find A, B, C, D, you can find everything, right? And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.